Haruan, what I'm going to teach you how to change your BMW mass airflow sensor. It is the MKF, okay? Mass airflow sensor. Before I come back, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be back. <music> This is my 2014 BMW M6 competition. A couple months ago, it gave me the error code P0101 and it scared the heck out of me because the computer in the BMW console said I had a DME error. DME is this part right here, which is the computer uh, for the BMW and there are two of them, that side and this side. These computers control all the components in the BMW and they cost a lot of money if they go bad. So, I put my uh, MaxiCon scan tool and plug it in uh, the scan tool in the OBD2 port. And guess what? It was only the mass airflow sensor that was located right here. Show them right uh, What it said on the scan tool, uh, hey, your mass airflow sensor is either dirty or bad so go ahead and clean it or replace it when i come back i will show you how to clean it and replace the mass airflow sensor i'll be back hi everyone before we begin to clean and replace the mass airflow sensor you need to have gloves and uh, safety goggles okay to clean it you need the mass airflow sensor cleaner crc uh, made a really good one so and the uh, mass airflow sensor is located uh right here and right here there are two of them since i have a twin turbo engine right here so and you need uh t20 uh torque uh, screwdrivers and to to remove the mass airflow air, air sensor you just need to move this clip backward like this you see, you see it, that's locked this is unlocked unlocked and you just have to wiggle this thing uh, hold on. out like like that right so now you have to put the power cable to the side and then we're going to there are two screws here this one and that one we're gonna use the t20 right here see make sure you do it uh, slowly so your screws won't fall into the engine bay and it's really hard to retrieve and make, make sure you put it somewhere on the side and then i'm gonna remove the other one just do it slowly you don't have to rush okay because when this thing falls it's really hard to retrieve so once uh it's out you want to pull it out of the socket right there okay to clean it just uh, do it like that and clean it really nice Oop. and then let's say you don't have the money to buy the parts because BMW mass airflow sensor is not cheap this one is uh, around like 100 uh, 100 to 150 so you're gonna spend uh, four parts alone to do DIY around uh, two to three hundred dollar okay it depends where you buy it. Uh, I use Boss. Uh, that's the part number. Right there. Yeah. Usually, uh, by cleaning it, uh, it will fix the P0101 um, mass airflow sensor error code once you reset the um, the error code, okay? Using your scan tool. So, but anyway, yeah, that's how you clean it. So, I I'm going to keep this one, okay? Just uh, as a backup because I'm just... Uh, changing it because now my car is at 64,000 miles. So this is the the part number right here boss 0 2 8 0 2 1 8 2 6 6. This is the part number. You can take a screenshot there Okay to replace it. You just have to open this new one And see it's a still a brand spanking you and you just want to Put it back to where it was like that right and then put the screw back 
Yeah. I want to start new. The thing is, this mass airflow sensor can last up to uh, 60,000 to 120,000. Sometimes, uh, you know, longer, it depends. But at this point, I'm just doing a preventative maintenance. I'm replacing it after I change my uh, air filter. If you haven't uh, watched my uh, how to change the BMW uh, engine air filter, go watch it. Uh, I already changed it like a couple weeks ago, but now I just have to change the mass airflow sensor just for a preventative maintenance, okay? Yeah, you don't have to do this, but I, I like to keep my BMW M6 part uh, new. This is a $126,000 car, so I just want to make sure that I have uh, good parts on my car. So you want to uh, throw error message. I mean, you don't have to do this, but... I love to maintain my BMW M6 because this car has been really good but to anyway, me. Once you uh, okay, plug it in, you just have to put the power cable back, push, push, and then lock. There you go, this clip, okay? Now we're gonna do the other side. Come here, Brenna, my daughter is here to help me. Yeah, the other side is a little bit different. The clip is in the bottom, so you kinda have to fill it there, and then you press, and you wiggle it out like that, you understand? See, the clip is in the bottom. Not this, but this, you understand? So we have to move it out of to the side. Oop, yeah, it's fine. And then we're gonna uh, unscrew this slowly. Make sure put your other hand right here to catch the screw, okay? Because it's really hard to retrieve if you uh, drop it in the engine bay. I mean, you can uh, go to ECS tuning and buy the replacement if you accidentally drop it, okay? Right, like that. Just put it aside. And then again, you just have to pull it. There you go. And again, uh, you you can go ahead and clean it, okay? I'm not gonna throw this away. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it as a backup. Just in case the other one didn't work, okay? Because this one didn't really give me an uh, error code after I clean it, so I'm just gonna keep this as a backup. This is very expensive part, so I don't really throw them away. Unless it's really, really broken. I'm just changing it so I, I can have a fresh mass airflow sensor on my BMW M6, okay? I like to, to have a fresh, just put them right, right here. Now, uh, you can plug the power back. There you go. And then, Put the yeah it's super easy you don't have to go to the dealership to do this it's super easy you can just buy the parts i will put the links in the depth the description where you can buy the mass airflow sensor for your bmw this is super easy guys if i don't have to talk i can just do this in uh, less than 10 minutes because it's super easy uh job to do so now once uh we're done we want to go ahead and uh, go to the other side. Let's check whether it throws an error code or not, okay? It shouldn't uh, throw an error code because that's, those are fresh mass airflow sensor. except the the hood is open because the hood is open so yeah so everything is good now so yeah so, yeah so that's all there is to it guys the thing is when you own a bmw m6 competition especially the m performance car like the m3 m4 m5 you know even the m8 now you have to make sure all your parts are being what replaced uh what do you call it on time let's say uh, the brake pad needs to be changed you have to do it right away otherwise you know it's gonna cause some problem so yeah like right right now uh, like right now I'm really happy because now I have a fresh uh, air filters and I have fresh mass airflow sensor so yeah that's all there is to it guys yeah I hope you like and enjoy this video make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel love you guys bye <music>